So it's April 26th and this is my basil. It's eight weeks old today. So, and this is my fried green tomato. Now what we're gonna do today is, I'm gonna transfer this because as you can see, it's in a little pot and it's growing rather nicely. And uh, I'm gonna use this pot and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some soil in there. I'm going to press it down. Now I should have actually transferred my um, my um, basil a while ago, but what I was actually hoping to do was actually grow it in a really small pot, just so I can show how to separate the different uh, different roots once they get going there. So we have the soil in there. And what we're going to do is take this out and I'm going to grab some water that I just have right over here. Hopefully I don't bang into that and knock out the view. I have to say, my bigger tripod definitely makes my gardening a lot more convenient for sure. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this spoon. I should probably do it over the pot because I'm probably going to drop some out. And I should have waited till it was dry, but I'm going to shake some of that off. Now, you have to uh, transfer it into a few different uh, pots. I'm just going to go along the edges with the spoon. Don't want to damage it too much. Shake off some of that. Just to see what we're working with here. I'm going to take some of it out. It's definitely going to be entwined, I think. Okay, so now we have it coming out. So, here's the... Uh, the root system which is a big pile of roots and as you can see a lot of it fell off which is fine we're gonna throw that over here so what we're left with is this chunk and we're just gonna take it apart in little sections we don't have to be rough at all we don't want to be rough so a lot of people don't know what goes good with basil, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what I'm going to put with my basil. I put probably three of them in this, well these ones are root bound together so we're not going to rip it apart. So we're just going to put the three in and we're going to there's one more I guess. And we're going to see if we can pull this apart. And if not, it's okay. If I had uh, a bucket of water, actually I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I have water that I always have at room temperature in my garden. I'm gonna use this container since it doesn't have a hole in it. And as you can see, I'm just going to move that for a second here, and I'm going to take this, and if you put it in water, it'll take off some of that soil, and if you're really, really gentle, you'll eventually be able to uh, pull the roots apart. like that see that's the easiest way and the best way I've ever used to uh, take uh, root bound together things apart is to actually like use the bucket of water or 
whatever and be very gentle because you don't want to break it now a lot of people don't know that these guys can go and they can be bedfellows with another one and what they can be bedfellows with is tomatoes so I have this fried green tomato and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out some of the stirs and I'm going to put the tomato in the middle. So we have the basil on the outside and we have the um, fried green tomato on the inside. So what we're going to do now is, because I like worm castings, and I want to give it that little extra boost, is I'm going to take my worm castings here that I have, and I take the spoon that I use, or shovel, or whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going to sprinkle that where I just put the uh, transfers. And now I'm going to take some soil and I'm going to cover it up. And you want to reposition everything if it got moved around to make sure the tomato is in the middle and the basil is on the outside. And I'm just going to do the rest by hand for I don't damage the basil stem. position that tomato again. It doesn't seem to be wanting to uh, stand up so it's not deep enough. So there. So if you didn't know, you could definitely put basil and tomatoes together. They make great bedfellows and I guess they're uh, friends with benefits because they get to share the same pot. So like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.